is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Jim Jones. Now, I'm not as fashion crazy as Jim Jones is, but Jim Jones, Dipset, people from Harlem, they know how to dress way better than a lot of other people, okay? They're up on fashion. Jim Jones comes out, and you know what? He was making a lot of sense during this interview. He was talking about, you know, fashion brands like FUBU, South Pole, Rock Aware, Sean John. That stuff was only cool outside of New York. I don't remember anybody wearing that kind of stuff in New York, okay? Maybe even not even Cali. Uh, mostly down South, Midwest, people wore, you know, Sean John, Rock Aware. People didn't really rock that in the city because we had other stores. Um, you know, like people rocked like Pele Pele jackets. Uh, he, he mentions a lot of stuff there, but people didn't, you know, people always rock Fila for sure. Uh, you know, and Adidas and stuff like that. But there was other fashion that Jim Jones could mention in that interview that I can't because I'm not the most fashionable guy anyways, let's be honest. But, you know, New York standard, you know, you get your Tim's different jean makers over the years. Jim Jones took a lot of credit for true religion jeans, which I could say he did, you know, like Jim Jones and Dipset and all them were, they were trendsetters when it came to fashion, you know? And he said a lot of these guys like, you know, Puffy and Jay-Z and Dame Dash and everybody and, and, and Damon from FUBU uh, would emulate fashion that was happening, put the hip hop twist on it, pay rappers to, um, you know, wear it uh, in certain ads and stuff and market it to the middle of America, down south, and it worked. I mean, they became super rich. <laughs> uh, so he's right about that. You know, like, of course, he breaks it down way better. I'm not, again, I'm not the biggest fashion guy, okay? <laughs> Picture me, I, I mean, with me, I'll be in some jeans, and a t-shirt that's it for the summer and then during the winter you know sweatshirts jeans and some tims or whatever other sneakers i got you know adidas you know i'm not a big fashion guy okay <laughs> um then we got blue face <sighs> now he's got some things going on i didn't even watch this one video but there there's this artist he has what's her name let me get her exact name. This might not even be her name. I'm not even that, that much up on it. It says, Oop, Chrissy and Rock says they know why she got Blueface's name tatted on her face. I don't know who Chrissy and Rock is. Is that one of Blueface's girlfriends? I guess it is. Chrissy and Rock. Chrissy and Rock is Blueface's girlfriend, I guess. So, press play. Blueface's Bad Girls Club member, Chrissy and Rock gets his real name tatted on her face and they know why okay well the only reason i could see why is because he's smashing <laughs> okay or is chrissy and rock his baby mom who knows okay chrissy and rock calls his baby mama george jaden alexis a groupie wow okay so she's she's definitely uh Blueface has definitely upgraded his artist from artist to girlfriend. <laughs> they smash him. She got her name tatted. Uh, and can she? he hasn't even changed her life yet. She's just an artist. She has no hit single out or anything. Uh, I could see tatting, you know, if you made her a million dollars or something. But uh, Blueface took his uh, Bad Girls Club, which all he did was take the actual Bad Girls Club and make his own and uh you know made a little show out of it that i've never seen before maybe you have and now he's smashing <laughs> he's mixed the business with the pleasure <laughs> uh academics is hilarious man i gotta give it to him he he's in a different zone lately he's uncut raw going in on joe budden's podcast not joe budden himself but the the you know, Rory and Mall, and now going at Saweetie, which I'm here for because I don't agree with what, how Saweetie treated Quavo. But Saweetie, he says Saweetie was dead weight. 
holding Quavo back. He's already he says he's already rapping different. Offset's been rapping like Cardi in the next room going through his <laughs> Yo, you gotta give it to Academy. Sometimes he's he's super hilarious sometimes. And he keeps it right. I mean, come on. He's right. Quavo was so invested in his relationship and getting his girlfriend a deal she he gave her a deal on a silver platter we've talked about this in multiple videos in the past week he gave her a deal on a silver platter gave her the the starter kit the birkins the the look the the hair the the nails he gave her all that he got the right people dressing her and everything he upgraded her life got her a bentley everything guess what she kicked him to the curb and said i don't need you anymore you did everything that I needed for my own success. See you later, Quavo. You know what? I hope that Quavo and the Migos come out with a, a big album on Culture Free because honestly, that would be the best get back. Sweetie did him dirty. There's nothing sweet about Sweetie. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. I'm glad Quavo's back free. Back to Savage Mode. They, maybe they should drop a little mixtape first called Savage Mode. Because honestly, they need to get back into Savage Mode to conquer the game again. They, th He was sweet on Sweetie. And he just needs to get back to being a savage. Because these guys... They're trendsetters, you know, whether you believe that or not. They change things up. Anyways, guys, I'll check you guys in the next one. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that join button. There's not a lot of news today. That's why I haven't dropped a lot of videos. But trust me, there's always some news of brewing somewhere.